The interesting implications of the AI and voice intersection is really about what's happening with consumers and their ability to be able to have things on demand, if you will, um, through their CE devices. Um, Pandora is perfect in terms of being able to play distinct songs, artists, genres, etc. I think that proliferation will continue as more lifestyle brands become integrated into CE devices. We're just on the verge of that. Um, this trend has happened over the last year or two, but it's becoming more and more mainstream, and that allows brands to really determine their sonic identity and really use AI to have a much more scalable um, presence there. For so long, brands have really thought of themselves in terms of purely visual identity, in terms of how they did their marketing, honestly, and how they showed up, and most of the customer touch points were on a visual basis. Now, with the advent of voice and with CE devices, the sonic brand identity becomes even more critical. And I don't necessarily think most brands are really ready to figure out how to do that and even know the, crit the criticality of, of that. Um, whereas it's going to become very important as consumers lead the way for brands in using CE devices in a much more mainstream way than they ever have before. Customer journeys are critical and being a part of the evolution as opposed to a barrier or a blockage to the customer journey is really critical. I would say with the advent of CE devices and the proliferation of CE devices in everyday lives of consumers, voice has to play a critical role because that's what customers are actually telling us they want more of, whether it's access to lifestyle brands, whether it's access to music like Pandora. We're lucky enough to have uh, be on over 2,000 CE devices and have 300% growth. Voice will enable our customers to really take advantage of this trend that's happening in giving them more access to everyday things that they would need.